Fox said his were the actions of a desperate and determined man wanting better protection for children. Police allege the former soldier drove onto the bridge and they found a note on his vehicle's dash. You've taken my kids, I've taken your bridge. It's alleged in the note Fox warned any attempt to climb the arch would have fatal consequences. He advised police to halt all traffic because he was carrying unattached equipment. I don't want any collateral damage. Police allege Fox paid to do the Harbour Bridge climb just yesterday and this was a well-planned act for maximum disruption and publicity. Chamber says about 60,000 people on average would have been running about an hour late for work this morning, costing the state's economy at least two and a half million dollars in lost productivity alone. Now state revenues also taken a hit. Drivers were charged the lower $2.50 off peak toll instead of $4 and there'll be no fines for anybody forced to use a bus lane this morning. Among bail conditions, Magistrate William Bryden ordered Fox to stay away from the bridge. Use the harbour tunnel instead, he said. Are you serious? Replied Fox. Yes, I am. Fox is also instructed not to disrupt traffic or put himself or others at risk. He says the event this morning could have been worse. We well aware I did pack a lunch, did pack a lunch, did pack a lunch. We well aware I did pack a lunch. It isn't the first time this has happened. Our most recognised landmarks used to make big statements. But security experts warn terrorists think exactly the same way. It's an icon, it's a, it's a target. Police say preventing lone climbers is difficult. We have to strike a balance between security and allowing the community to enjoy access to the city. The Premier has called for an immediate security review, looking at guard patrols, surveillance cameras, new barriers and criminal penalties. But Seven News has been told considerable work has already been carried out to fortify key parts of the bridge considered vulnerable to attack. In 2007, the Labor government invested $3 million in thermal imaging cameras to protect the bridge. Today, more promises of tightened security. We're going to be reviewing our security systems and we will be doing something about this. But keeping tabs on more than 200,000 bridge users every day is an unenviable task. Mike Duffy, 7 News. The man many drivers may consider public enemy number one has apologised for causing this morning's lengthy delays. He walked from court today on condition he steer clear of his wife, kids and the Harbour Bridge. Father of three, Michael David Fox, walked out on bail and said sorry for halting a city. He's spoken to waiting media shortly afterwards outside of court. Here's a little of what he had to say. Having not slept for 40 hours, I, I, I don't particularly want to answer too many questions. Um, but as I said in the courtroom, today's, uh, today's actions weren't an act of desperation. Um, they were an act of determination. Um, and it's not necessarily a plight for my children. Um, whilst I do have my own issues going on, uh, what it's done is raise my awareness as to the, the, the bigger problem and, and how many children out there that must be suffering um, from being from broken homes. And uh, at the end of the day, we're failing our kids there. And, uh, and, you know, my actions this morning were to try and bring about change. I want to do what we can to try and avoid repeats. The 38-year-old was charged with obstructing traffic, climbing on bridges and climbing or jumping from a structure. He's appeared in court and was granted bail. He was protesting over child custody issues. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to apologise for the motorists that got caught up in today's, uh, in today's plight and I hope that they can find it within themselves to, uh, to realise that the objective was well worth the short delay. Um, they need to be well aware I did pack a lunch and uh, was there for a long haul, but uh, gave them the benefit of the doubt. So, uh, so hopefully on the back of this, with your help, we can, uh, we can draw as much attention and awareness to the fact that, uh, that our kids are the true victims of... Uh, of